Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name's Andy, aka the Opinionated Brit, and welcome back to the channel. Um, it's the weekend, so that means it is review time. And today we are taking a look at the Simpsons T3 Trafalgar. Hello, thank you for uh, coming back and joining me on the channel. As I mentioned in the intro, we are looking at this little Bobby Dazzler, which is the Alexander Simpsons T3 Trafalgar uh, synthetic shaving brush. Um, Simpsons are probably better known for doing their uh, badger um, knots rather than a synthetic, but um, obviously with the changing times, they've branched out and they brought out um, this, um, which is the Sovereign Synthetic Fiber T3 uh, shaving brush. Um, we'll have a little talk about it. It comes in, well, I've had two of these. I dropped one of them and I got very upset about it. It chipped the handle. Um, so I had to buy another one. My OCD wouldn't let me keep that one. And I've had, uh, I've had it come in two different boxes, actually. I've had it come in the uh, red one. doesn't have any branding on it other than uh, obviously on the back there where it says T3 or Tra Trafalgar T3 synthetic. And I've had it come in this grey one. No branding again, but again, the Trafalgar T3 synthetic on there. We'll get rid of those. Um, the uh, brush, the overall height of it is 100 mils. So... For anybody that is watching, or maybe you're a first time viewer, and you're new to wet shaving, obviously the full height from top to bottom is 100 mils. The handle is 50 mil. The loft, so the loft is the height of the uh, knot, that is again 50 mil. So it's a nicely, nice uh, a brush in good proportion, 100 mil and half of that is the knot, half of that is the handle. Um, the knot um, is 26 mil, so that's that. 26 mil. Um, it is their own Sovereign uh, synthetic fiber um, bristles and um, the handle is a faux ivory handle. It's not real ivory. Obviously it has the Alexander Simpson uh, established 1990 on there and on the back it says uh, Sovereign synthetic fiber handmade. So it's a hand uh, made brush. It's um, lathe turned um and it is a very very good brush um we're going to chuck that in the water let it soak for a second and then we'll talk about everything else so soap wise uh, i'm using a sample sent to me by one of my viewers uh, which is the a and e uh, peach and cognac i've got that pressed into this uh, fine lathering bowl at the minute um haven't used this one before i've seen a lot of people talk about it but it smells nice quite uh a fruity scent. Um, I've done my normal pre-shave routine. Um, pre-shave, we're going to be using the Pro Raso White, the sensitive. Um, razor, we're going to be using the Executive Shaving Mild, the Outlaw, the Mild Outlaw, or the Mild Outlaw Head, which was very kindly loaned, or has been very kindly loaned to me by uh, Jim Henderson of the Jim Will Shave YouTube channel. So if you haven't seen his channel, go and check it out. I'll, um, I'll put a link in the uh, description to his channel. So yeah, we're gonna use that, the mild one. I, uh, I own the standard one, or have the standard one, which I uh, highly recommend. In that, we have got a first use chrome platinum Bic razor blade. Haven't used those before, so have no idea how sharp they are, how aggressive they are, whether it's going to be a smooth uh, shave or not. So that'll be interesting. Um, post shave, we'll uh, use the normal Osma Alum Block, my mate Alum. And then just because I love it, I love this. Oh, the scent is one of my favorites. It is Diamond Aftershave Splash from uh, Barrister and Man. And that's in there. The soap I've got is in there, Soft Heart Series. And then we'll finish up with some uh, unscented balm from sterling so a bit of a mishmash of stuff but hey we're looking at the brush so i'll uh crack on i'll um i don't know why i've taken my glasses off because i need to um let's put them back on 
quickly so I can see you beautiful people. Um, I'm going to crack on and lather. I always say that. I said that last week. Or I'm not going to, well, I'm not going to lather it. I'm going to go and crack on and uh, build the lather and I'll be right back. So see you in a second. And there we go. As if by magic, the, uh, the lather has been built. So there you go. That lathered real nice. Um, really easy to lather, actually. The brush is just a bit of a, a beast, to be fair. It, it, no matter what you throw at it, it gets that lather whipped up, ready for you to apply lusciously to your face, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. Um, take the old glasses off, wet the face. And uh, chuck a bit of pre-shave on. Oof. Just take a scoop out there and hit the bottom. Look at that. You can see daylight through it. That's, that's how much I've used it. Do you like the Pro Raso? Always on the lookout for new pre-shaves though. I've got, like I said in the last video, I'm on the, I'm gonna pick up the Edwin Jagger pre-shave. I think it's, like, what do they call it, a cream? Can't remember what they call it. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll pick that one up. Also on the lookout for the uh, Captain's Choice lathering bowl. So if you know of any way of picking that up easily in the UK, please let me know. If you have to order direct from Captain's Choice, let me know as well, which uh, would be a little bit of a, a bugger. But hey, these are the things we have to do, isn't it? I've got a bit of an, an obsession for the lathering bowls. I've just, uh, I've ordered a new one. I'm not going to tell you what it is until it turns up. But let's uh, crack on with the, uh, the shave. It's a nice scent, actually. Um, as I was sent uh, as, a, as a sample, and I didn't think much of it out of the uh, sample pot, but now it's uh, now it's whipped up. I can uh, pick that scent up a lot more. I'm one of those, what do we call them? Super scenters. I don't really pick individual scents up very well, um, but seems that when a soap hits the old face on me I can I can pick it up a lot more or whether when, when it lathers so yeah I can pick that scent up a lot more now and it, uh, it's quite a pleasant scent I can pick that peach up a little splash of the old cognac Not sure it's one I'd uh, look at picking up a full puck of or jar of, but it is nice. Yeah, so the Simpsons, I haven't used any other Simpsons brushes, um, mainly because they're, most of them are badgers, or badger hair, um, and I don't use animal hair brushes for various different reasons. So I haven't had the luxury of using many of their brushes, but the Simpsons T3 Trafalgar. I, uh, I've used a lot of um, synthetic brushes and that one is up there with the best of them. It's nice soft bristles. I like the look of the bristles. Um, the one thing I would say, and this is again just personal choice, is um, it would be nice if the handle was a bit bigger, I do have big hands and I like a, a bigger handle on my uh, shaving brushes, but um, it isn't the end of the day for me. I'm not, not fussed, it's a good brush. But yeah, first time using the mild head on the Executive Shaving Outlaw, so Jim, You may know him as Jim Shay or Jim Jim Will Shaves. Thank you for sending this over, buddy. Appreciate that. I will uh, most likely do a comparison between the mild and the standard head. Probably next week, um, and I'll get it back to you, mate. 
going for a little bit of a different technique this week. Um, just trying to go straight through on the passes. Not that I think it'll make much difference, but you never know. Yeah, I'm not uh, noticing a massive amount of difference between this and the standard head. No. When Jim did his, his comparison, he said he, he didn't really notice much of a difference, or at least on paper there isn't much of a difference. But we'll do a proper uh, review of that. First pass. Nice, nice. Whoosh. She is good. I'll rinse off. Rinse off. I am uh, one of those people you may call a freak who rinses off between uh, passes, but the clues in, in the name, people, it's wet shaving. Don't be afraid of getting your face wet in between passes. Rather it be too wet and too dry. How's your uh, how's your weekend been? Up to it? Have you been up to anything good? Let me know. Anything exciting? Certainly not in the UK. Seems we're still in the uh, the midst of this third lockdown. Rumor is it's going to carry on into May. Which, geez, that's a long time. What's that? January, February, March. Five months. But El Bojo has said this new variant is probably or potentially more dangerous than the uh, original. So, hey, who are we to question these people? Mr. Biden has been sworn in as the new uh, 46th president of the United States. So congratulations, Mr. Biden. Commiserations. Commiserate. Com Why do I have troubles with S's? Commiseration. Let's try again. Commiserations, obviously, to Mr. Trump. Obviously, there's plenty of people that support him, so obviously, commiserations to you guys too. But hey, the people have spoken, and that's why it's a vote. So, look at that, it's everywhere. Nice. Don't know if you can pick that feedback up on the. Uh, on the video, but it's cutting through the hair like butter, a knife through butter. I don't even know what accent that was, but whatever accent it was, it was just enhancing the uh, point I'm making about it cutting through the hair. Uh, about two days growth, I think it is. Nice, nice, nice. I have, uh, I've noticed as well, actually, Executive Shaving have brought out a long handle for the Outlaw. Can't remember what it's called, but I might look at picking that up at some point. I do, uh, I do prefer a longer handle, so yeah. I think it's about 30 quid. They are good handles actually, they're stainless steel, they're solid. Stainless steel, 316L grade, I think, marine stainless steel. Um, so yeah, it's an investment. Obviously the beauty of a, a double edge uh, or traditional wet shaving, you can mix and match your heads, your handles. Um, there you go, two passes, done. Ooh, nice. Rinse off with some cold water. And we'll finish this shave up. There is a 
it. There he is, Alum. Dropped him the other day, so he's a bit cracked and uh, worse for wear. I have to admit, it wasn't the most comfortable shave I've had. I think that's probably more down to the blades. I haven't used the big blades before. Um, but yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't necessarily uncomfortable, I suppose. It was just uh, different. Um, but yeah, looking forward to using the, uh, the Diamond Splash. I haven't used Diamond for a while, so it is one of my favorite scents. It's right up there. It may even be uh, my favorite. It's definitely in the top five. Um, but yeah. Quick shout out to everybody. Uh, thank you for watching. It, it does mean a lot. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers so far this week. Um, shout out to you guys. The other reason I, I, I keep putting these videos up and, and keep the channel going. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it. Click that like button. Um, if you are a first time watcher, please feel free to click the subscribe button and please, please, please leave a comment. I do love the interaction with you guys, you know that. Um, it's part of the beauty of, of YouTube, um, is the interaction. Rinse the animal off. There we go, there's my shaving little towel. Ah. I'll get some of the, uh, the good stuff going. Here she is, diamond baby, get in my hand. Oof, whoa, a little bit too much there, but hey. Ah, wow, man, that is good stuff, baby. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, mom. Nice. Um, wash that off. Dry the little hand a little bit. Put the old bins back on and we'll uh, have a little squirt to the uh, sterling unscented balm. Don't need much. Just a little slather. Mm, mm, mm. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, so there we go. That was the, um, no point in me getting out because it's it's covered in, in lather. Um, that was the Simpsons T3 Trafalgar um, synthetic shaving brush. So yeah, I'd highly recommend that. Um, Pick it up if you can. I think it retails for about £20. You can pick it up for about £20, um, including shipping in the UK. Um, in the in the US, Mel from Melly Mel Shays, he is always giving them about, away. He has a whole cupboard of them, or at least that's what rumour says. Um, so yeah, pick it up. It's definitely, if you're a fan of synthetic brushes, I'd highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me. We'll be back in the middle of next week with uh, just a shave of the day. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, whatever you're doing, wherever you are in the world, stay out of trouble, stay safe, and uh, most importantly, stay shaving. Peace. Mm -hmm.